What is up my fellow gamers? In today's video, we got our character tier list for Devil May Cry Pika Combat. Like and sub for more amazing gaming content. Still trying to get over this sickness, but feeling a little bit better. So I am on the test server and we got a few extra characters we're gonna go over that aren't in the global launch servers. <laughs> There's going to be a couple ones at that end. I believe it's the Devil Bringer and the Eternal Nightmare that we do not have yet in the global launch servers, but we're going to throw those in as well. First hero we got is the regular just blanket demon hunter Dante. Everyone gets this guy for absolutely free. Now early game, this is a pretty decent character, but that's pretty much all you can use him for is early game. Once you get to mid game to late game, he becomes very power creeped out. He's a physical damage dealer, which helps out early on. And we also have that penetration for our style skill where we can go ahead and do a bunch of damage, specifically the stinger style skill, which then puts weaken on them. So the enemies take more damage. Really good early game, but unfortunately he doesn't bring enough to the table for that mid to late game. I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna put him in the bottom, unfortunately, all the way to the C area. Now, the same thing can kind of be said with Swift Arsenal Lady, same basic idea. It is a starting character, physical damage dealer, really good for removing those quick hit shields. However, early on, that's it. Once you get to mid late game, she really becomes power creeped out and there's better versions of her that basically do the same thing, but also do a lot more. So this is another hero. We're going to go ahead. We're going to put her along with Dante in that bottom C area. It's Knight of the Order Nero. This one is slightly better. It's kind of what I would think of as like an upgraded version of our demon hunter Dante. The only difference is we now have a fire damage type instead of a physical damage type. So we get that ignite ability where skills can go ahead, fill the burn gauge and put that on enemies. Otherwise, Knight of the Order is not the greatest either he's slightly better than these C heroes character is decent for mid game but really falls off in that end game area next one we got is the spark igniter lady and this is again pretty much the same thing as the swift arsenal this is like what I would say is the upgraded fire version of the swift arsenal lady spark igniter is going to be a fire damage dealer she is support rapid and also has that pen as well so deals decent damage but again just like better for mid game so this one we're gonna go ahead we're also gonna put her in the b the best way to put it is pretty much de uh the demon hunter and swift arsenal are your early game and then knight of order and spark igniter are your mid game kind of upgrades the next one is going to be the devil crusher and this one is by far way way better this is when we're getting into that a tier list and above we've got another physical damage dealer but really good sustain great at taking damage also hard hitter now hard hitters are really important and they can be a bit difficult to come by and that's the characters who are able to break those damage reducing shields you really need one on your team. Um, it gets really difficult to that mid to end game if you don't have a character out of your three in your lineup that has that ability. To Devil Hunter also lets you immobilize enemies, which can be really strong for just kind of isolating one type of enemy so that way you can deal with another. We're gonna go ahead and for the Devil Crusher, we're gonna put him in the A, one of the top tier heroes in this game. The next one we have is the Nomadic Lightning. This one is another one that's like good for mid game. Uh, I would say this is another one that's kind of like an upgraded version of the regular Dante. You also still have the pen ability as well, which the original Dante has that pen, but we get that AOE you see. We also have sustain and it is an electric damage type. Electric damage types aren't that great in this game, unfortunately. They just, they're not as good as some of the other ones. Like I would say physical damage dealing is the most like sought after one. For the nomadic lighting, this character, we're gonna put him in the B. I think he's good for like mid game, but really falls off end game. Not one of the stronger ones, but definitely better than like the demon hunter starter or the swift arsenal starter. Next one we have is the Fists of Salvation Dante. This is another top tier one. We're getting another fire damage dealer. We have sustain, hard hitting, another 
damage reducing hero can go ahead and break those shields we also have ignite trick up we have that dash and trick up i'm gonna go ahead we're gonna put them in the a definitely a lot easier to do the combos too as opposed to some of the other characters so i would say this is one that is a lot easier to play next one we have and this is going to be our first s tier hero and that's going to be the royal guard this is by far one of the strongest characters in this game physical damage dealer we have sustain we have hard hitter so we have another hero go ahead and get rid of those damage reducing shields but we have a block as well. Skills can block and negate incoming attacks. Block and extreme counter is a really strong ability in this game. Not too many heroes have it. So anytime you see a hero that has that, definitely look out for them because they're gonna just naturally be strong. We also have that AOE ability with the Thomas maneuver. Character goes ahead, spins and does and deals a bunch of AOE damage, kind of gathering up the enemies. This is really strong for taking out multiple enemies for tons of different game modes especially the bloody palace we also have a devil trigger as well which i know a lot of people are fans of characters that have that devil trigger but for me i kind of like just having a regular ultimate ability all the devil trigger really does is just give you kind of you know some buff to your stats really but i like the characters that have the ultimate abilities that just hit really hard instead of just dealing the like the devil triggers it's just kind of like a style thing you look cool right your character kind of visually transforms and looks different uh, but we're gonna go ahead we're gonna put the royal guard in the s definitely one of the top tier heroes in this game next one we have is the one man show dante now this one i actually don't particularly like the play style of this one this one just feels so like gimmicky with the guitar and it just feels more kind of like for show than actually like a fun character to play as an electric damage type you go ahead and you have the guitar and it shoots out you know electricity sparks and stuff like that we have our hard hitter so again another damage reducing shields we have the paralyze feature though which i think this is what makes this character really strong is we have that skills fill the paralysis gauge and once it's filled they become paralyzed immobilized and this can also trigger the qte of the of electric hunters so really building out a strong electric team this is a must you gotta have this one in here we have got our aoe abilities and we also have mp regen which definitely comes in handy i will say the i personally just didn't really like the visuals of the attacks for the one man show nonetheless though still a top tier hero we're gonna go ahead we're gonna put them in the a area next one we got is the frosty grace this is i would say my favorite out of the different lady versions that we have frosty grace is my favorite this is an ice damage dealing hero we also have that chill effect so our skills can go ahead fill up that chill gauge and once it is reached it causes the enemy to become chilled and this can also trigger the qte of our ice characters we also have rapid where we can perform rapid attacks to do that to to break hit shields very fast um, you can go ahead and use like the style skill which just shoots the rapid fire guns or you can go ahead and do your main attack, which depending on how you're attacking, it can be rapid when you're on the ground or if you jump up in the air and you try and do an attack, your character does like an AOE 360 spin with ice blast shotgun shells, just, you know, blasting everyone around you, which, I, which is pretty cool. It's a lot of fun to do when you have a lot of flying enemies. I would say Lady, all the, all the versions of Lady are probably really strong at dealing with flying enemy units. Whereas a lot of the Dantes and also Nero's, they're not that great at dealing with those flying enemy units. I also really love the ultimate ability Frosty Grace has. He goes ahead and deals a ton of somewhat not necessarily single target damage but if there's a multiple enemies around she will hit multiples but it's it's typically kind of hits only one enemy we're gonna go ahead we're gonna put her in the a the only downside to it is her ultimate ability can be kind of weird sometimes where like you're going up against certain bosses like raid bosses in co-op mode and you trigger your ultimate with her 
Sometimes if you're not lined up properly, like close enough, you just miss and you just don't do any damage at all. So the targeting system in this game is definitely weird, especially with some of these characters' ultimate abilities. You can kind of just miss if you're not close enough. Uh, next one we have is the Endless Judgment Virgil. This is, I would say, by far the biggest chase hero, the strongest hero in the game aside from one other hero that we're going to talk about shortly uh for our endless judgment virgil we've got a physical damage dealer has that bleed effect can put on enemies we also have rapid we also have the judgment cut and the storm swords which are really cool along with the dash and trick up this is probably my favorite character to play as i mean it's it's so much fun the combos are super fun, very versatile. You have the ability to break down enemies, hit shields really fast. You can put out a lot of damage. You have fun doing it. Definitely by far, I would say more of the other heroes should be kind of built out like this. The Endless Judgment is by far the most fun character in this game, like the funnest to play as. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna put them all the way at the top S. All right, next two we have are some new ones that aren't in the global launch servers just yet, but they will be shortly. First one we got is the Devil Bringer Nero. This one is really, really amazing. We got a fire damage dealer, has the ability to go ahead, put ignite on, but we have snatch. You snatch to pull on targets to get closer to them and snatch and toss them. This is another one that I think is a lot of fun, but this one can be a little bit more difficult to play because you really have to get used to that snatch ability where you jump in the air and you can kind of basically extend your arm and it snatches up an enemy and then you can sw you can swirl them around, throw them on the ground, and then they deal like impact damage. But it's a very, very fast paced character because you can constantly be uh, grabbing enemies and then jumping away from them and you, you it's it's kind of like a, you got to keep your distance at the same time but you're also able to bring them in closer it's a fun one to play but it's a lot more challenging than these other heroes it's specifically the endless judgment it's kind of like it's as fun as endless judgment but it's a lot harder to play I'm gonna go ahead and for the devil bringer Nero we're gonna go and put him in the S another top tier hero. And then for our final one that we have, this is gonna be the one that is probably like, supposedly a lot of people say this is like the most broken character in the game. This is one that you're not gonna get until after um, the Devil Bringer comes out. I think this is the third banner after that one. I'm not sure though, they might change it for global launch, but that is the Eternal V. This guy is super broken. He's an ice damage dealer. We got our hard hitter ability so we can remove those damage reducing shields. We got chill, we've got slow, we can slow enemies, but more importantly, it's this one, summon. Can summon units into battle. This is why the character is so, so broken. I mean, it's insane. You just have basically an army of minions going ahead and helping you out and it makes it, it's like easy mode, 100%. So I would say, if you can start to save up, I mean, I don't know exactly when this banner for Eternal V is gonna come out. It could be a month, it could be sooner than that. This is a hero that you really, really wanna get, let me tell you. This is one that, you know, it's worth, it's worth starting to save up your gems and summoning tickets specifically for this hero because when this hero comes out man if you get them it's like easy mode this hero we're gonna go ahead uh we're gonna put eternal v all the way at the top of the s area i would say this is by far the best hero even better than the endless judgment um but that is pretty much it that is the tier list i have right there i hope you guys and girls enjoyed this video stay happy stay safe and i'll see y'all later peace uh...